Hello and welcome to Kendrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Farmville, North Carolina, and today we've moved the time forward one more month here. It is now officially autumn, and I believe our corn here is actually ready to harvest. Man, our soil is uh, in need of some care here, so I don't expect yields to be very good. In fact, if you look at the precision farming window here, you can see our expected yield is to be 85% of uh the field uh average with a potential of 125 percent so we're leaving 40 percent of our potential yield here on the table unfortunately but not much that we can do about that with this being a new save and all if you look in the upper right hand corner you can see we are expecting some rain here in the uh, next few hours and so i want to get going here on a little bit of harvest Harvest is always my favorite uh, activity in the game, and we've got this awesome Gleaner Combine here that we're going to be firing up today, getting this out of the shed and uh, seeing how it works out. This was a mod that Pleasant View Farms, who's been a uh, regular in the community for quite some time now, uh, put together and sent my way a while ago. I'm pretty sure he's released this at this point in time. Uh, however, I haven't gotten a chance to take a look at it which uh, today is going to be that day. Should be some fun times. We've also got a Alice Chalmers uh, header here for, for our corn header that's been uh, reskinned from something else, I think, but that's all right. And so I'm going to go ahead and let this thing warm up here for just a second. It looks like I've got our augers all set up here to go into this bin here. I think both of our bins are empty at the moment which is good we're gonna put some corn into them and we've got a grain cart in there that we could set up and run however our tractor is currently set up on this uh, fertilizer spreader so maybe for today while we're getting things opened up we're just gonna use the truck here and dump on the headlands that's probably gonna be our best bet so I'm gonna go ahead and get the truck all started up here and running We'll see if we can pop all of these covers off as well. Get everything all set up and ready to go here. Uh, we'll leave that running there for a minute as well. And let's jump into this combine and see if we can go ahead and open up this cornfield. I think we are going to back up here and take off this little bit of a, a headland pass here. If we jump in cab, we've got a, a basic interior on this. I'm digging it. And we'll see if we can jump right in here and start taking a little bit of corn. Looking good. I think everything's going to be working pretty well for us here. So what we'll do is take off some headland passes. I believe we're going to end up going on the up and down rows here towards the other end of the farm there. I think that's going to be the longest way to do this field if we pop open the map here. It's kind of a square field, uh, but I'll take a couple headland passes off on this end, I believe, and then we'll go up and down the other way. That'll uh, keep me from trying to turn around by the bins and stuff. I think that's going to be more of a recipe for disaster than anything else at this point. I'm liking the shine off of the back of this gleaner with the morning sun coming up here on the other side of the farm. It's looking quite snazzy. And we gotta make sure we don't run into any of these telephone poles or anything. I'm gonna cut this corner out a bit. I don't wanna be driving in the neighbor's field too much. we'll just take a chunk out of this corner. I think I am going to take the other headland pass off here before I start going all the way around, though, just to be complete. Got to watch this hill. There we go. And if I'm not mistaken, I got GPS onto this uh, vehicle, so we are going to be able to use some GPS here help us out on those up and down rows a little bit and that's gonna wrap up the headland on this side i 
think the best thing to do is to sneak over here. We'll cut out around the bins and follow this around to the other side of the field here where we can take those headlands off as well. And then uh, we'll probably leverage a hired worker here to keep us going and that'll allow us to hopefully get the truck out here on one end of the field and ready to be unloaded into we pop our hood back open here yeah we're at about 50 percent so we're actually getting a fair amount of corn off of this field despite the low yield values i think we'll be paying a lot more attention to make sure that we can maximize the yield on our fields come next harvest here I do want to put soybeans back into this field and then on the other field over there we're going to be putting in more corn. I think we're going to need quite a bit of corn when it comes to uh, feeding these hogs that we've got. If I remember correctly, that's the primary input here for the feed mill. We've got a placeable in town there that's making all of our hog feed which if we bring up the menu here, you can see we've got 150 corn makes 200 uh, pig food. So I expect a lot of the corn that we're harvesting here is actually gonna get brought up to uh, the feed mill there in town and turned into food for the hogs before we uh, really worry about selling too much. We made a fair amount of money here off of the fertilizer contracts that we did. We do still have that spreader leased, and we're going to need to use it to put some lime down on our fields here at some point, which will uh, definitely help with the yield since our pH levels are pretty bad, as well as our nitrogen levels on these fields. Now the soybeans are going to help us get some nitrogen back into this field here. And I'm hoping by the end of that next year, we'll start having manure enough to spread into these fields, uh, possibly even in the spring. I know when we were using uh, hog manure, we would typically knife that in in the late fall or early winter and have that go into the ground before it freezes. Uh, I'm not really sure what the protocol is on if you can put that hog manure into the ground in the spring before planting uh, or you know maybe before some light spring tillage we'll definitely have to look into that and uh, as always i know i've got a ton of real life farmers in the community here so if you've got experience with that i'd love to hear from you in the comments on the video uh, just let me know uh, how you guys have typically used uh, hog manure on your farms uh, and or other types of uh, manure because I'm sure there's some similarities uh, across those. We'll be very careful here. I don't want any incidents with this telephone pole. It's got my name written right on the side of it there. So we've got to keep our eye on these things. We're coming up on the end of our uh, hopper here. I thought we were going to make it, but not quite. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to toss this arm out here and we'll bring that truck right on over here. Uh, we're going to leave the combine running and head back up here to the farm. We'll grab this truck real quick and just drive this on down to the headland there. See if we can unload real quick. Hopefully things are not too muddy or anything out here in these fields. I absolutely love this grain truck. It's an awesome mod here, especially with the pup trailer behind it like this. Uh, we ran something like this on our farm and I always loved driving this truck around. Uh, it wasn't technically a Mac, it was an international, but uh, I don't know, I just have a special love for grain trucks with uh, trailers behind. We had a really big gravity wagon behind ours, uh, but this is very similar in principle. So I'm going to go ahead and just shut this truck off. I think this is going to be in a good place for a while. We've got a fair amount of harvesting to do before I have to worry about getting into the way here to turn around and stuff. 
So we're going to hop back over here into the combine. And just like that, we're done unloading. We're going to have plenty of capacity in this truck, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and fold that auger back up. Make sure we're not hitting any of these trees along the driveway. And I think we are going to take a, a little bit of the short rows out here uh, along the driveway. Maybe we'll circle back up and hit that stuff behind the bin there uh, before we start doing the up and down rows. We've missed a few stocks here on the other row. It always irks me there. Got to get our dollar a corn there. And uh, here we go. So maybe what I'll do is for the GPS track, I think I actually want to be on the other end of the field where I've got the longer rows. And so we'll turn around here real quick. I'll take this other short row off and then we'll head back down to the far end of the field. We'll set up the GPS track and start working our way back towards this end. I think that's actually going to be the easier path forward here and then we can clean up some of these shorter rows after we've gotten the GPS parts done. Now I've got a fair amount of ditch on the other side here but it's a little steeper than I'd prefer to drive up to unload so I think what I'm gonna do is pick up these couple of straggler stalks because it's irking me even though it's what five whole plants of corn and then we'll toss our auger back out here empty our hopper before we start going on the up down rows i don't think it's going to be too much of a problem we've obviously got plenty of hopper to uh, make it around the field but it's just going to be easier to set a baseline and our expectations if we've got an empty hopper before we start doing the up and down rows here all right, so I'm going to go ahead and start down the, I, I'm calling it the long edge of the field here. It's really a square field, so we're just going to say the way we're going to do our up-down rows. What direction are we even going? Is this technically uh, west? So we're heading west to down this field. We've got the GPS going here. We're right on the edge of it, so... Hopefully we don't lose a row here as we get a little bit further down. It looks like we're just going to eke it out. I probably could have been centered on the rows ever so slightly better. I'm going to shift us to the right a smidge. It looks like I'm getting a little bit better aligned here. That'll bug me a lot less as we continue down this field, I think. And just like that, we are off to the races with getting our corn harvested here. I'm really hoping that we make enough on this field to continue to feed our hogs all the way through the next year. Now, I've got our bins all set up to take some corn, but in reality, I think we should probably just haul this straight up to the feed mill. Uh, I don't think we're going to use any money from... Uh, selling the corn, I think we're going to put it all into hog feed to keep uh, the farm going here. I really want to see the hogs producing manure and at some point here being ready for getting sold. I think we'll be making our money off of the hogs on this farm rather than the grains, but we're going to find out. If we take a quick look at the menu here, we can see our reproduction rate jumped up 25%, which is good. And our food capacity is continuing to drop down here, but we are starting to make some slurry. I don't really know uh, how far 10,000 liters of slurry is going to get us. Let's see, which field is this? This is field number two that we're currently working in. And I do have uh, some mods installed here for figuring that out. So field number two, if I was going to slurry it, would need 54,000 liters. So we're actually getting close, not quite a quarter of the way there. Um, we'll have to keep an eye on that. We might be able to get to a point here 
in the next few months, maybe before we plant in the spring, that we have enough uh, slurry from the hogs to spread in this field. So with that, we've gotten a solid start here on our corn harvest. I think if we're being honest with ourselves, we're probably gonna like to do a little bit more harvest here. Man, we've got a ton of fertilizer contracts, but we've also got quite a few uh, harvest contracts here. I'm not terribly interested in sugar beets, but some sunflowers, some soybeans, that kind of stuff we could do. Now, I don't have a head for soybeans right now. We might need to pick one up at some point, but we could definitely do these sunflower contracts. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of these contracts for sunflowers. And we'll see about doing those after we finish up here. Now, I don't know how many I can pick up, so I'm going to just start with two just in case they have a tendency to disappear because I know there was a corn contract after midnight ticked over and I don't see that one anymore. Uh, but I always fast forward the time until it's daylight out. I hate doing jobs during the night, especially for uh, videos. I guess I don't mind so much when I'm just playing on my own. But I don't want to see us lose out on some potential contracts, so we're going to grab those two. We'll see how this goes. We'll definitely be getting around the map a little bit. I think we will have to get the grain cart out here at some point. Some of these fields are going to have a hard time getting a truck and trailer down into them, I think, based on having moved around the map a little bit. However, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. It's been a great start back for those that are watching the series in real time. It's been, what, five, almost six weeks since we got an episode out. And I'm excited to be back into things. Hopefully we'll be getting episodes out on a more regular basis. We are uh, back to a normal schedule now. The kids are in school again. And uh, the chaos of summer has hopefully subsided. So if you're as excited about this series as I am, hit that like button, helps the channel out a lot, and stay tuned for more videos here on Farmville, North Carolina. That's all for today. Ketterk out. Whoa, we've got an accident here. Looks like these cars were not paying attention. I wonder how that's gonna resolve itself. Oh, that's terrible. We can't let that go. We got to fix it.